Hello viewers, welcome to my YouTube channel Curiosity Box and I'm going to talk about my new love which is Game of Thrones, yay! So, my snuggle bunny um, has already seen series 1 and is watching the TV series but I don't have the particular channel that they broadcast the TV show on so I don't really watch it and then on Amazon Black Friday sales they had the box set of Game of Thrones books so I thought oh well I'll get that just to see what it's like and it was cheap as well so I started reading the books about a week ago and I'm on to book three part one and I'm so much enjoying it now um, sort of medieval fantasy isn't really a genre that I'm particularly enamoured with because I, te I tend to get um, sewn out because I pretend to prefer magic realism where something magical and strange happens on the current day or on, on planet earth in the current day kind of thing so that's a kind of, that's the kind of fantasy I prefer more because I tend to get a bit bored by um, old fashioned fantasy but with this it's excellent because each chapter is a different character so that really helps me to keep track with uh, with the story and to like not zoom out too much and to like keep within the world of the story and it's all coming out in my head so I don't actually want to watch any of the TV show until I've read all the books so far I have uh, read that there's two books still to come so I'm going to read all the books so far and then watch the TV show but my fave from the reading I've got I started the first book and I thought, well, I'll give it a go because my snuggle bunny's all excited about the new series. So I started the new book just to see what it's like and like about two or three chapters in I was totally hooked and I just finished it in about three days and it's awesome. Now, the character I most, um, I don't know what the word is, the character I most got endeared to pretty early on is Arya because because this could sort of relate to how she's a tomboy and, and they have to hide her away because she might say anything which is quite funny actually so I can relate to that bit because they don't know what she's going to blow us out with and like that bit in the pub where somebody one of the people or people in the pub said blah 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 and she said no that's wrong no and she had to go outside because she's given away the secrets and everything and I like how she has to have lots of different names and that's really fun and I've been I've seen some t-shirts on QWERTY which I have voted for which are Game of Thrones theme and I hope they get printed because I'll totally buy them because they're awesome so anyway uh, uh, my snuggle bunny likes Tyrion uh, likes Tyrion Lannister and he is a very good character I think all the characters in this book are really good and there's loads of depth to them and I really like the dragons there is a lot of sex in the book but it, it doesn't like read very gratuitously it sort of fits with the story really so it's not just the gratuitous reasons I've heard the TV show has quite a lot but in the story it kind of fits and I like it even though I thought I was for a little part of me thought oh it'd be good if there wasn't an like it, it was realistic but I do quite like the dragons in it and all these scary things over the wall and I like Sam too, he's lovely so I really like all the characters in this book because it's like really evil horrible characters and then there's the characters you really care for and when something happens to them you're like oh no it's like, and then you're like oh, phew so I want the, the big fig part one and also what I like about it is each book, instead of just carrying on with the same tone, each book sort of has a, a different tone to it. Now, also, the other uh, old fashioned fantasy book that I have read is Lord of the Rings. Now I think this one's a lot better because with Lord of the Rings it got quite linear and it's quite like a single journey to put the ring in and get rid of it. So it's kind of quite linear and it does, I like the films better than reading the book. I started reading the book after I saw the first film but 
it wasn't as good because it was linear and it, it's just got a bit dull. But with this, you get the maps in the front of each book. So these are the maps in the front of each book. And the story just basically goes all over the map according to which character you're reading. So you get to explore the whole of the land, which is really good, rather than just the linear bit like in Lord of the Rings with just the hobbits going but as you get to go all over the place and see and find out all the different schemes and plans and everything and it's really vivid in my head which is why I want to read the books before the TV show because when I read the books I just, it's just all around my head and I'm in the world I can see it and everything so, so I do think it is a bit like a very 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 adult Harry Potter if you're a youngster and you've read Harry Potter, don't read this because, because it's like really too rude. But if you're grown up and you've read Harry Potter, then you can read this. It's got lots of sex in there. So if you don't mind that. And it's got baby dragons and the dragons are getting bigger. It's so exciting and it tells you what different colours they are. And I want to get that dragon incense bear in it because it's a dragon incense bear in it. And when you put incense in, all the smoke comes out of his mouth. And it's like way awesome, it? but it's real tall though, so I'd be scared I'd knock it off. You can get baby dragon incense bear, it's which are cute. So you could get three of those and they could all have smoke coming out of the mouth, and it'd be awesome. But I also, I sort of styled my, well I, I had the bed cover, I had a medieval type bed cover before I started reading Game of Thrones. But I sort of tidied up my bedroom a bit and styling it like Game of Thrones. And so I started jewelry, jewelry, and cut particular Game of Thrones style pieces. So it's awesome, and I'm really enjoying it. So this is another major fandom that I have got into. And I thought I'd do a cosplay video for my review of it. Yay! So, although I am a bit wenchy, because that's the only sort of skirty thing I've got that's proof it, so I'm a bit wenchy. <laughs> Uh, yay. So I really love Game of Thrones and it's awesome and I'm really enjoying it and I, I would totally recommend it because it is really good series books. So I hope you have enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.